What you guys got another video here for you on how to upgrade from Windows 11 24H2 to 25H2. Now we're going to be using the KB5054156 feature update to Windows 11 version 25H2 by using their enrollment package. Now if you are on Windows 11 23H2, it's time to upgrade because this version of Windows is literally reaching end of life within the next few days. I think it's November 15th off the top of my head. But basically, you're going to need to start uh, thinking about upgrading to 24H2 or 25H2. So if you want to download this enrollment package for version 25H2, this is going to allow you to quickly update to 25H2 from 24H2 very, very quickly. And here it is right here. Now, I can't use it right now because I'm on 23H2. And you have to be on 24H2 to be able to use the enablement package. Now, Windows 11 version 24H2 and 25H2 share the common core operating system uh, with the identical set of system files. So doing this method is going to be super easy if you're already on 24H2, which a lot of people are. Uh, you know, there's going to be some hardcore people that are still on 23H2 but that is reaching end of life very quickly. And once it reaches end of life, it will not receive any more updates, security updates, patches or fixes or anything like that. It reaches end of life. That is it. Also, we're going to have to make sure here that we've got this version. So I'll let this install. And then from here, we can just click on this one little file and it will reboot the system and you'll be on 25H2. Very quick and easy. If you haven't been offered 25H2 yet, by Microsoft, you can use this method to be able to speed up the process and roll out an update. You don't have to go for a lengthy process of updating from 24H2 to 25H2. Using this method is super fast and the quickest way of doing it. Now, the beauty of this enablement package is it's going to enable an update from version 24H2 to version 25H2 with a single restart and reducing update downtime. And if you're interested, I will leave a link for the article right here about the feature updates to Windows 11 version 25H2 by using a enablement package. It goes into great detail through the summary and it tells you how to get the file. I'll leave the links for these files, which are directly from Microsoft, and I'll put a link to the ARM version and also for the Windows 11 x64 uh, bit version uh, on my website so you'll be able to go there and download them i'll also leave the links on the discord server so you could just go there and download them straight from there as well if you don't want to go rooting around the internet looking for them this document gives you all the information you need on how to get this update and it also says through the windows updates uh, update catalog and also server update services it goes through the prerequisites saying by before updating to windows 11 version 25 h2 using this uh, enablement package you must be running windows 11 version 24h2 so it tells you right there on there what you need to do and the requirements so let's get windows 11 23h2 upgraded to 24h2 now if you've done all of this already then i'll try and leave a timestamp in the video description so you could just skip it and go straight to how to install the enablement package and that way you don't have to mess around with the whole video but if you're interested in it it might be useful to understand how it all works so we're just going to have to quickly go through here and update the system and i'll speed this process up so you don't have to wait too long and then we can get on and just do the in enablement package update so it's going to go through the installation period and now we've got the update to 24h2 let's quickly just check here go to settings and go to system and then we can go to about right here and we can also check and it will show us that we're on version 24h2 so now we can use the enablement package so if you're at this point already all you need to do is click on this file now i've already downloaded the actual file uh, on the system and it's right here this is the file that we're going to need so let's double click on it it's going to say windows update standalone installer and it tells us the name of the file we're going to click yes and there we go we can now restart the pc and you'll see how quick and easy this is to go from 24H2 to 25H2 in a blink of an eye. It's that quick. We're just going to restart the PC, let it boot up. I'll do this in real time so you can see. And it's literally that quick. A lot of people are talking about 
it's not a massive update. It's not. It's not a huge feature-packed update, 25H2. They're going to roll these out in stages. Uh, it has got some new features in it, but it's not like the massive major changes that people were expecting. So if you want to see a video on all of the changes and updates that you can get on 25H2, let me know in the comments section down below. But you can see here we've now rolled out successfully this PC to 25H2 using the enablement package. It's going to speed up things. Make sure you always keep your system updated once you're on a new package like this because there's going to be some updates for 25H2. So it's important to get all the latest updates for that version. As far as I know, 25H2 has been working pretty decent. There isn't many issues. And I'll show you that in a second. But basically... Uh, you will be able to update through the Windows Update panel. So if you haven't updated to 25H2 yet and it's not shown up in your Windows Update panel, then it will do eventually. Microsoft are rolling this out slowly, but the enablement package just makes it very, very quickly. And these are the links right here for the X64 and also ARM64, which I'll leave on the Discord server for you to download if you want to uh, roll out the update very quickly on your system right now you can do let me just quickly show you the known issues for 25h2 so you can see this is the windows 11 version 25h2 known issues and notifications website on microsoft they're all listed on the left hand side there so you can check them all out most of these have been migrated over well, in fact two of these have been migrated over and that's the only two known major issues that they've had and they are pretty much nearly done so you won't have to worry too much about that anyway with that said i think that's going to be about it just a quick video for today my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who have joined my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the very next video or i'll see you on the discord server for a chat a link is in the video description if you're interested in a pc build video let me know in the comments section I'm going to be building myself a new PC, and if you want to see that video, I'll make it. Otherwise, I'll just won't bother, and I'll just build it and not make a video on it. So let me know whether you're interested in that sort of content. Anyway, have a lovely day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.